Okay, you guys already know what the video is about. You've already clicked on here, so let's get cracking. Um, this is the Zoom SSH6. It's a stereo shotgun mic capsule built for the Zoom H5 and H6. Don't think it's compatible with the 4. If you want to know what that is, it's one of these little doobies. Basically what this is, is a hand recorder. Um, loads of producers use them to capture samples. Loads of on-site filmographers, videographers use it for interviews, for capturing foley. For ca you can use this thing for anything for capturing sound. It comes with two XLR microphone inputs, um, which are also powered Phantom if you want to use that. Um, and on the top, you can add any microphone that you wish that has sold by Zoom. So the standard microphone it comes with is this little stereo left and right microphone. Um, if you're wondering why I'm talking about this microphone in a video about this microphone, basically, I, when I got this, it was great, but I was finding I wanted to use this for video and it's not very directional. It's great at capturing like stereo sounds, great for my production work but it just isn't that great for video and capturing that direct sound. So in the box you receive a microphone and you also receive a dead cat. The dead cat goes over the microphone in windy conditions. The details of this thing are really nice because you have, let me show you up close, you have these little hooks that basically hook onto here and here. Holds it firmly in place that if you guys are on location, you don't have to worry about this thing sort of like blowing off into the wind. So my favorite little feature about the H5 and these modules is they clip on so, so easily. Like they just clip in on the top. There's your microphone, <laughs> looks a bit excessive. Once you have these things in and out of the case, your case, your flight case, wherever you have them, um, they just clip in and go, it's as simple as that. Another feature I really like about this is that it has the volume um, on the front. So if you're wanting to change stuff quickly and on the go, unlike the H4 where you had to click buttons to turn the volumes up, it was just a bit of a faff, whereas this you literally just turn that knob and you're all great. Another amazing feature of this microphone is it's not just a directional shotgun microphone, it also has mid-side functions. Now mid-side means that it's stereo, so there's a pair of microphones in the stem here as well as one that comes out of the front. This is the one you're gonna want to talk into. These ones determine how much sort of extra noise you would like from the surrounding area going in. The other thing I absolutely love about using it with this device is that you can turn, with this little thing on the side, you can turn the volume of the mid side up. And even better, you get this little diagram that comes up, tells you how wide that stereo field is. You see, it shrinks and then it's off. You go the other way, and it increases. The only downside to them is, yeah, the microphone can only be used with these Zoom recorders. Um, so if that's what you're here to look at and work out, um, these won't be for you. Now, one thing I was really intrigued with with this microphone is, I've been using the Rode Video Pro for uh, just over a year, and it's really directional. It's really great at being directional, actually. If I stand right behind the microphone, it becomes so muffled and so different to when I'm sat in front of it. It's it's a really good directional microphone. I wanted to see how good this thing was. Um, I don't know how far down the microphone is placed in this or anything like that, so I'm gonna nip outside and give you a really quick demonstration of how good this thing really is. Okay, so we're here outside. You can see I've got my microphone here. This is on the directional recording. Only the front microphone is working, none of the side ones. So this is the kind of distance I'd probably be like inside if I was like an interviewer being interviewed. Maybe you're a reporter. This is the kind of distance that you'd have. As you can see, I've got my dead cat on it because we're outside. Supposedly that kills any like wind noise. This is the first time I've used it. I don't know if that's working really well. I hope it is. So this is what it sounds like really close. This is what it sounds like really far away. If I don't raise my voice, I don't know how good this is. However, there's one thing I think Zoom need to change. I think Zoom need to provide some kind of like auto balance, auto gain. You normally have that on cameras, but whenever you use the auto setting on your camera with this microphone, you get like a load of hiss, a load of unwanted noise. It's not that good. So currently, anything that I say quietly and anything I say loudly, I have to alter in post-production. Kind of sucks. There's another thing I think that Zoom needs to change. When I add the mid-side element of the microphone, um, I have to stop the recording to then change it. It would be nice if I could change that whilst recording. I might be wrong, but like at first hand when I've tried it, it just doesn't seem to do it. So I'm now going to change to the mid side. 
Okay, so now we're fully mid-side. If you have headphones on, hopefully you can hear a bit of that. The great thing about this microphone that I love and the full benefits of it, the front microphone is still working, but it adds in the side microphones. What I mean by that is you can adjust the volume of the side microphone. So say you're a reporter, you're doing like an interview and you want nothing else in there, you can just have this front microphone. It's gonna pick up a bit of the noise, but nowhere near as much. If you were doing maybe some sound recording and you wanted to get a bit of stereo field, or you were doing an interview and you wanted to capture a bit of the, the outside surroundings, you can also record that as well. So my final test, I just wanna know how good the mid side and the front one being on at the same time is at a distance, whether or not it makes a difference. So this is close up. This is far away, if I run all the way over here, and then I run all the way over here. I don't know if there's a difference. I don't know if you can hear any difference, if it makes a difference, and whether or not it just overall sounds any good. Let's go back upstairs and see what this thing sounds like. So I have the microphone set up just here, and I have my Rode mic set up just here. I don't know if, you can, I don't know if I can show you. That's a little black furry thing. It's literally right next to my camera. So this is what the Rode sounds like. And this is what the SSH6 sounds like. So the SSH6, and here is the Rode mic. Here is the Rode mic, and here is the SSH6. So the SSH6 to me sounds so much more rounded, it sounds deeper, it captures like a, a lot more detail. Um, even though the Rode mic is more expensive, I don't know, is it's it's clearer to me that the zoom is like a much stronger signal. Rhodes has an ever so slight bit of hiss. I don't know, I, I, I prefer the SSH6 in terms of just the general tone. Uh, do let me know in the comments if you think any different. I'd be interested to know because um, that's just my personal opinion. The only other downside I've currently experienced is um, I don't have a shock mount for the Zoom microphone. I know there are companies that do do them. They are quite expensive. I think I found one for like $95 or £95 the other day, which is a lot of money. Whereas the Rode comes with one. It's quite good, like, if I hold hold my camera like this and move it around, you can't really hear anything. I don't even know if you'll hear anything at all. Whereas if I hold the SSH zoom microphone and do a bit of this, you can hear that quite a lot. So that's the only downside I've had so far. I wouldn't be able to use this, like, mounted onto a camera unless I bought that shock. After using this SSH6 for a little while, it's definitely noticeably different to this. Um, it's much more directional. If you record anything right in front of it, it is like crystal clear where this is crystal clear as well, but it's not as directional. You know, if you're clicking here, both those microphones are capturing up the sound slightly differently and it meets somewhere in the middle. So although I love this microphone, they have their purposes. If I want a really good stereo field, I'll use this one. So that's my not so professional, but just honest review of the SSH6 shotgun microphone. I'm gonna leave you now with the track that I made purely on the SSH6 shotgun microphone. Um, I hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave a comment, um, leave a like if you can. If you are new to this channel, please do subscribe. I have loads of fun content using this kind of stuff. So if you're a music lover, definitely do subscribe and hit that little bell notification so you know when I've uploaded. And until, uh, until Tuesday, take care, look after each other, and remember, never stop creating. Thanks for watching. Cheers, bye.